we skipped today. It's all good. You miss nothing. Um, I'm trying to remember what I did yesterday. I sort of designated Monday as an admin day. So I sort of did my admin, caught up. Oh, we'd been in Paris the week before. So I had a lot of like catching up to do emails or that kind of stuff. I'm actually not at home for the next two days. Um, so today is very much a ticking things off the list kind of day. I've got some reels to do for brands that I'm working with. And then I wanna do like a packing TikTok um, because like I said, I'm staying in London overnight tomorrow night. And I think I've got four events tomorrow that I'm staying overnight. And then I think I've got three events the next day, three, four. So it's a busy couple of days. And I basically just wanna take like a tote with me. I'm like, how can I take the least amount of stuff? I really don't wanna be lugging around a big suitcase around London for all those different things. So I wanna pack so, so, so minimally, but I feel like that requires a bit of brain power. So that's what I'm gonna do this afternoon. This is my little setup whenever I'm doing skincare reels. I love to like be in front of the window and then I get all the natural light. And actually today is a really good day for shooting because it is just blue skies and gorgeous and really bright which just obviously looks nice on camera um, but I think I'm going to swap around my earrings before I shoot the next reel. This video is in partnership with Majuri and um, I've just taken out their small hoops. Oh they're so diddy, so cute, they're the ones that I wear all the time but I don't know I fancy something a little bit bolder I think especially because I'm just doing a reel that is basically like close up tight on my face um, and these are their dome hoops. They're a new addition for me. I've got the croissant dome hoops which are really fun and gorgeous and obviously have that twist to them but these are the dome hoops that are just a dome. Really really simple, love like the curve in them. They're kind of that perfect go between. They've got a bit of chunk to them but because they're so simple the shape is just really like beautiful, organic, very modern. They're still sort of dainty at the same time. What do we think of these? As always, I am completely decked out in Majuri, head to toe, quite literally. I wear their anklet all the time. Even now we're in sock wearing weather, I still wear my anklet, you never know. On the odd occasion, I'm wearing more of like a lower ankle sock. Still very nice to have an anklet on. And I always link in the description box down below every single Majuri piece that I'm wearing. The rings, the bracelets, the necklaces, the anklet, it's all down there. And if you click on those links, it will always take you through to the Majuri site and automatically give you 10% off of your first order. So if there is anything you've been waiting on, now is the time, obviously, coming up to present buying season. Maybe you want to get a start on that now. I highly, highly recommend Majuri. I have nothing but good things to say. And I feel like these would be a really good addition. If like me, you wear something like the small hoop every day, look how diddy and tiny these are. But you want a bit of variety. These feel like a great pick. Um, right, I'm now doing a reel for Drunk Elephant. So I literally just go like this. Ta-da! Does this look like an Instagram reel to you now? No, probably, because you're just watching my um, face on the side. <laughs> Hello. So I did it. I managed it. Everything for an overnight trip to London in this bag. Um, I managed to film a TikTok. It was so dark yesterday when I filmed it, um, but I will link that down below if you kind of want to see exactly what's in here. Um, but yeah, outfits, pajamas, toiletries. I've got my tripod so I can film, um, phone charger, all those sorts of bits. It is all in here, I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely not the lightest this bag has ever been, but I feel like it's better than traipsing around London for two days with a suitcase. So there's that. Outfit of the day is the Arquette long sleeve t-shirt. And, and then these are the Frankie Shop. I think called the Tansy trousers and I've had them tailored. So they're not as long um, and they're a little bit tighter on the waist as well. I feel like they've done a really good job of these. I did take my Love dress to be tailored and they've kind of butchered it. I can't really talk about it. I'm gonna have to take it back. They've just made it too short. So the pockets, of the dress show at the bottom. So I'm gonna have to take it back, get it retailored. I think they left quite a lot in the hem, so I'm sure it'll be fine. They can just like let a little bit more down. But yeah, those didn't go so well. I'm not 100% happy with the jeans that I got tailored as well. There's like a strange kind of crease in the bum, so I'm gonna have to take those back. But these were good. I'm really happy with these um, and they just fit so much better. Um, so, right, time to leave. It's nine minutes until my train arrives. <laughs> so fun though. Um, Jules was there and Sarah was there and Katie Picks was there. Um, it was really really fun. I met the TikToker Sam's Eats. Um, he was really lovely as well. Uh, delicious food. Truffle like pigs in blankets. 
yes please and now i'm off to an Ilya lunch Ilya are launching into sephora so right at the bottom of Regent Street. This hotel is very, very dreamy. Like, love the style of it. I'll do a little room tour for you now. This is the bathroom. We've got some lovely Armani products to play with. Um, the bath, oh my word, the bath. Like, I need to get into this bath at some point. And then look at that absolutely gigantic bed, just for me. Sorry, Mark, very excited. <laughs> But the colors in this room are very cool. Nice little touches of green. But I need a refresh. Like, it feels like there's no makeup left on my face. I guess I did it probably like nine hours ago now. Maybe I'll have a bath. A bath, a little makeup refresh. Gonna film a few bits and then I'll be back. You know what? I had a bath. I had a bath and it was lovely and it was like exactly what I needed. And then I took all my makeup off. Um, I recorded like a reel as I put my makeup back on. And then I've had a little outfit change. I did bring a Jeff Avenue shirt with me and I stood there for ages, ironing it, getting it all ready. And then I was just like, you know what? I'm just, I'm gonna do a blazer. I feel like the crowd tonight could be very, very chic. And I was like, of all the things that I bought with me, this definitely feels like the most chic ensemble. So I've done the totem blazer, my mango flared trousers. I'll show you the mirror in a bit. My Chanel wallet on a chain, just the best little black bag um and then my leopard print heels and i don't know i feel like i'm like why do i not wear this outfit more often this is so a bit of me like this is me but fancy like i, I can handle this oh the bathroom is a little bit of a mess and um, but i obviously used the armani foundation my fave um the luminous silk concealer this is in the right shade for me this is shade four so definitely gonna take that home with did the makeup by mario sculpting on the cheeks and then on the eyes i did my beauty pie palette with a little bit of this ilia like glowy top coat this is in the shade glaze um oh my, my eyes oh my gosh i use this i normally use the waterproof version of this but this is the armani mascara and holy macaroni my lashes are so long i'll show you in a minute and then on my lips i did some of this armani lip power this is the shade 109 and um, I did a little bit of my Makeup Forever. Completely sepia uh, on the lips as well. I just sprayed some of the C. It smells so good. It's actually like a very good, if you want like a fresh perfume but something that's like a little bit powerful for the evening, I'll say that's a good one. So I just put on some of that. But look at these lashes. Oh my word, they are, whoa. <laughs> Also, I've got this really annoying red patch where I picked a spot earlier. Oh, so silly. Um, I'm actually going to go and have my makeup like touched up by the professionals upstairs just before dinner. So looking forward to that. I might do like a little bit more something something on the eyes. And then here's a full length. I love it. Why did I not think to wear this? Could have saved myself packing the top, saved all that ironing. Um, yeah, I just feel comfortable. or midnight so it was a 6 a.m start for me i'm just not very good at sleeping away from home on my own i don't know i can't like switch off in the same kind of way and i didn't bring my kindle with me which was such a fail like that is how i fall asleep every night i love falling asleep whilst reading it just feels really nice i'm currently rereading um david sedaris's um calypso so without my book i wouldn't quite know what to do with myself <laughs> i'm doing quite a pared back routine this morning obviously because i haven't got all my usual bits and bobs with me but I did bring the Beauty Pie Japan Fusion Cleanser in a pot. This is the Estee Lauder Eye Cream, again, in a little pot. Then I bought the Estee Lauder SPF with me. I'm having to sniff everything before just to make sure it's not my toothpaste. <laughs> so yesterday was such a fun day, like so back to back. I actually missed out on going to the Sephora event. I ended up checking into this hotel a little bit later than I planned, so I just ran out of time, but it looked absolutely mad. I heard a rumour that the guest list was like 500 people or something. Just snuck off to do my hair. Couldn't have an air dry moment yesterday just because I would have been leaving the house with sopping wet hair at like seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> they just put a very, very subtle wave in it. Oh, actually, I was supposed to be having that haircut that I keep talking about. I've had to reschedule for a second time. <laughs> I will finally go and get my haircut. Um, it was actually supposed to be this morning, but then this job came in and today was just the best day to film it. So I ended up rescheduling it. Third time lucky with that one. I'm growing quite fond of the Armani Luminous Silk 
concealer actually the shade four is like a really good match for me i'm just gonna beauty blend that in so the plan for today um there is an armani masterclass at 9 a.m so i'm getting ready for that now then i'm traveling across london to go to the new um battersea power station which i'm really actually excited to go and see that like my train comes into victoria so i go past that i've been going past that all these years i've been traveling to london and it just looks so cool it's like a new there's loads of different things there part of it's a new um shopping center and i'm actually going down there to film a job for space nk i'm going to do an instagram reel for my channel doing like a little tour of their battersea store so that's really exciting so that will probably take an hour or two then I'm traveling kind of back to like East Central almost because I'm doing a panel with LTK, who are my like affiliate partner platform at something called the Influencer Marketing Show. So I'm gonna be part of a panel where there's um, someone from Elemis and then me and then Josephine Lux. Um, I love Josephine Lux, I love her Instagram. It'd be so fun to meet her in real life. And then I'm gonna head home, but my battery is about to run out. So we're gonna have to see you at the end of this. Okay, I think I have a tiny little bit of juice left, but this is the finished makeup look. I mean, it's what I wear all the time. I'm loving these Majuri dome hoops though. They were so perfect with last night's outfit and I really love them with the chain as well. It was nice just to have like a bit of bare chest and then this chain and then these hoops, it felt like the perfect balance of jewelry. So I'll make sure that I link these down below for you in the description box, but honestly these, such good quality, such a gorgeous shape, like love the gold that they are as well. And I feel like they look really nice with this kind of like hair over the shoulder look that I'm doing. So yeah, I just had to give another shout out to these because I feel like these were really the stars on the show. power station look at this this place is so cool there are so many good shops here loads of good restaurants as well there's a whole pancake place and then it's next to like a healthy eating place and i just think some pancakes and some juice would be like the ultimate combination and but this is the space in k where we're filming it's amazing like i've been to a lot of space in k's in my life but this is hands down the best one like look at it look at the size of it it is absolutely huge um see so yeah, i just filmed a reel for this that'll go on my instagram but yeah it's absolutely massive i had a great time at the rare beauty counter actually but yeah it is just absolutely gigantic all your favorite brands under one roof um if you're in the area you have to come visit this As we mentioned earlier, a very significant anniversary for you. My 12 year YouTube anniversary. 12 years yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, it's a long time. I think that's going to be a round of applause. Over a thousand videos in that time. So I've just edited through that footage now and realised there was no ending because unsurprisingly, I got home and was extremely tired and pooped and didn't grab my camera again. So this is the official ending. It was such an exciting whirlwind of a two days, but I have to say my small talkometer when I got home was like absolutely <laughs> zero. It was really nice to like rest my voice and just immerse myself with the boys for the weekend and have a really nice like family weekend with them. But there's some very exciting news because by the time you see this video, the work would have started on the house. So expect the next vlog to be very renovation heavy, lots of before shots. We're relocating our kitchen to another room. So if anyone else has done a kitchen renovation and has any advice on that, is there anything we need? Is there anything that you suggest that we do? Then I am all it. So we're gonna get that little like Ikea hob. Hopefully we'll still have a fridge freezer. We're gonna try and move the plumbing of the washing machine and tumble dryer. So hopefully we still got that because they're hoping to finish the work in March. So we've got a good chunky five months here, but lots of renovation content and really exciting things to come. So thank you so much for watching this. Thank you so much to Majuri for sponsoring this video. I'm back on the small hoop life now. I've just got the normal chain on. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it and I'll see you soon, bye.